we are 10 months deep into this game. So now I'm gonna make a tier list of every single contestant skin that we have so far. This list will probably be outdated in two days when they inevitably update the score. Score. The store will be ball regardless. And for simplicity's sake, I'm only doing like the full sets. I might throw the sandals in there for fun but that's really it. We're going S to C tier and then boring. And just remember, this is my opinion. You have yours and I'm right. We're gonna start with the season four cover, man. The skull set, C. I don't care for the mask all that much and the, the rest of the clothes are same old, same old, to be honest. Then we got the basics. These are gonna be in the boring tier. This is just like how you spawn in. This next one, I don't think you could get. It says clothes bathed two on it, so I would assume not, but also in the boring tier, the Ospoo's something. It's got the glasses, but like, this the soldier the new set for this season for ospoos the jacket's okay so i'll put the first three in the boring tier the one for this season i'll put in c tier skill issue i can appreciate getting some some basic looking like white and black stuff to put with other stuff but as a full set the tats carry is still c tier the season three chef i'll give it the a tier i like it their exterminator i'd be putting these boots with everything they shouldn't all together i would say I say B. And we got the Hitman. Hitman I like. That's an A tier. Look more like an assassin than a fencer, but I was... Mm, I'll give it an S. Indiana Jones, I'll also give S. Steal the spotlight. Honestly, I did not remember the mask coming from this, this set. I thought it came from something else. I think this was the first time we had solos when they dropped this. I'll put this one in A. The Big Bunny, this is S. The Little Bunny, that's C. Alien... B. I don't really care too much about it. I call this the oopsie skin. I appreciate the bagginess of the crew neck. For those reasons, I'm giving a B tier. Combo calculator B. This is Soul set. I like the bag. I don't know where the pants came from. Altogether, I'm gonna give it a C tier. I forgot an Ospoo set. That's crazy. Uh, also in the boring tier, Elvis. For giggles, I'll give it a. Then we got the two PlayStation Plus things. I don't know if you can still get them. I'd imagine you could, but I mean, I got them a while ago. Then maybe just ask somebody that has a PlayStation to log in an account for you and connect it and see if you can get it if you don't have a PS4 or 5. The green is B. I like the white a lot more. That one's A. The OG boxer, A. Wedding dress. I didn't know it came with those boots. I just noticed them right now. I'll give it A. High noon. This is like, this is S. The hat like muting the colors of the entire thing carries but that's s the anime archer also s because where did the anime character come from that was that was completely random from last season the cns special b i don't really care for it all that much the samurai is s i call this one max fov tv head carries i'll still give it an a the black tutu with the wings on it this is a the wanderer now the fact that the cape flies around when you spin you jumping around trying to shoot people on top of this massive hat that's s tier the yellow ranger i don't i would have liked a different color of a power ranger but the yellow i mean the set all together it looks it's reminding me of one piece for some reason i don't know why but i'm gonna give it an s tier still the panda the mask is like the only interesting thing about this so it keeps it out of the boring tier but it's still c tier to me and we got mr thighs out I'm buying them sandals at some point for sure. Besides that though, I'll give it a B tier. Pre-sale. Oh, he's a salesman. That's why I call it that. I'll give it I'll, I'll give it a B. The officer. I'll give it I'll give it a A. Then we got the footballers. My non-American viewers are just fidgeting right now for me saying that, but all of the different colors of the football set. I'll give it a A. It's kind of crazy that they're all in one set like that. And just for fun, we'll go through my own people. At least one of them changes every week, but the skirt with the boots is hard. I also got my two lights here. My other two mediums. She got that Dyson jacket on. The other dude got the CNS jacket. And I got three heavies. You can tell that I like the Dyson jacket a lot. Cause normally I don't be having them in the same thing. And then I have the friendliest shysty wearer you'll ever see. And then my last heavy with a stash. I'm not gonna rank these. You can rank these in the comments. I'll put them like one through five. That's not five. Wow. One through eight. And leave a like while you're at it. It's on the way. This one I like a lot. I actually don't like the individual pieces as much, but I feel like it came together real nice. I feel like this is the A tier. I'd even put it in S actually. I think the helmet puts it over the top. Desperado, uh, C tier, whatever to me really. A little Miss Shooter. I give it B. This DXZ one is C. I just, I don't know what it is about it. I'm just giving it a C tier. The Fearless one without the face um, paint, 
why it wouldn't stand out all that much C tier. And I mentioned in the last video how my sponsor Halto, they need to like pick it up a little bit. This is one thing they did right. I'm still, bro, I, I wasn't playing for a while and then I missed that Dyson helmet that drops. So I didn't get that, but I do have this one. This set is nice. This is S tier. This Kawhi one, uh, sure. If you want B tier. Archer, it's C. Chrome Cowboy, you get violent at a rave. This is like a, I'll give it A. And if you just don't want to have a sponsor at all, you could just have all of them. Not even just the three of this, you could just have all of them on one set. You don't even gotta choose. No chrome finish on the jacket. I'll give it, I'll give it an A tier. Mr. Going Dark, I can appreciate it. I'll play it in A. The Owler set, bro, if the um, little cape flung around or just flew around when you moved, I'll put it in A. With, for lack of that reason, I'll put it in B. Then we got the Ponderer. I forget what the story was of the community getting this in the game, but out of respect, I'll give it the S tier. The Fox, this is C tier. It's just like the panda said, the helmet is the only thing interesting about it. Soldier is B tier, it's really whatever. Same goes for whatever this is. I couldn't even, I didn't even think of a name to type out when I was putting the screenshot in here. Or this one actually. I'm just give it a C tier and move on. The paintballer, I'll give it a B. The helmet's kind of cool, but the rest of it is like, mm, whatever. This uh, punk one, I don't like it, but it's not like, I don't think it's just not doing anything to the point where it's C. I'll give it B. The gearhead, I can appreciate some overalls. I'll give this A tier. The, the uh, Oni Mask Soldier, B. Ninja set is nice all together and just has a lot of individual pieces. I wear the crossbody thing out of it the most. I think I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought the shirt too. And I don't know when they added this raccoon set in. I feel like they should add a rat one in for lights to wear. That would make a lot more sense. But this one, I'll give it an S. Why not? Security skin. B. The City Lancer said I've been planning to get the face off of this one forever. I don't know when I'll actually do it, if I'll ever actually do it. The face carries. The shirt is kind of nice. The rest of it's really whatever to me, but I will give it, I'll give it A tier. I got a homegirl with like the Soul Stomper boots on. These, this whole set is like a, it's like the Samuel girl that went dark. I'll give it an A tier. The Draco Star set, B. I don't know why these leggings are so shiny. <laughs> Mr. Glowy Bones. Another case of a mask carrying uh, C tier, eh, B tier. Then from season three, the biggest of bodies. I had the military type skin. This is probably one of my favorites. I'll give it A tier. Number one crash out, S tier. This one just makes me think of Squid Game. Again, mask is carrying, but the, the suit is still nice. So I can give it, I can give it a B tier. The Gundam said that is S tier. That should be clear. Especially if you wear it with just the body and not with the helmet, it looks mad goofy. And I'm so glad they did that. The white tutu. And I don't got the wings like the black one, so we're gonna drop it. I think the black one was A, so we'll put this one in B. The punctuator, I don't know why they call it that. The mask is hard and the jacket ain't bad. They got some nice gloves too, I'll give it S. This is a classic from the betas. I have the Halto helmet, so I don't think I'd actually buy the helmet off this one, but it's a nice little set, I'll give it A. The Hedgehunter skin, it's a $20 set right now. I'll give it A tier. And probably my favorite set out of this battle pass. This is one of the A tier, but it's kind of nice. But yeah, that is everything. That is all of the sets that are in the game. Oh, I forgot to do the chonklas. Uh, S tier. That was one of the first things I bought in the game. I can't lie. Those are S. But that's everything I'm gonna put on here. This is what's going on. Let me know what you think in the comments. I dropped the weapon skin tier list at the same time as this video. It's already up, so you can go watch that. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.